What's up, y'all? What's Hi, up? How you doing? Thank <laughs> you for having to, us. Listen, it's always good to be seen and it's always good to talk to some lovely people like y'all. So I want to know, what is it that makes Nadia and Alan crazy diamonds in a world that seems incredibly complicated for them both? And I'll start with Natasha first. You know, I think they're both sort of very curious about why they don't feel totally correct in uh, society as it exists. And together they have the courage to kind of explore that, you know, like sometimes in, in our friends, we can see that they're sort of perfect as they are, but in ourselves, we feel broken in some way when we're alone. And I think that they see that in each other. And so they kind of, you know, that sort of unconditional love of a chosen family allows them this sort of, you know, strength of, you know, emotional exploration in a way, even when very sci-fi. I right? A hundred percent agree. And I, I, I mean, I'll second, I think, I, I think we're all, you know, kind of cliche, but we're all diamonds. You know what I mean? Like everybody's just got to figure out how to shine it up and chip the edges and stuff like that. But luckily these two people have found each other and also found new ways of attacking this thing called life. They have new tools in order to kind of show those beautiful edges. I know it sounds so cliche, but it's true. We're all diamonds. No, it all actually does. It don't sound cliche, but I appreciate y'all, you know, taking that deep dive with me to answer that question. Because as I watched season one and season two, that was the forefront thing that was in the, in the you know, front of my mind that that these two people are bonded together by some crazy circumstances so thank you so much for addressing that i really appreciate it um i also wanted to know what is is the i may have missed this but what is the significance of nadia's birthday being on march 30th i will say without being too crazy that uh in addition to the show being sort of like you know philosophical and, and psychological we've lost charlie uh, but and like sort of psychedelic, there there is a, an element of the show that is sort of theological in its own way, and that is kind of asking and and you know scratching around the edges of this sort of um, you know God question in a more uh, tangible sense, and almost this idea that is is like the true nature of that idea we call God actually most visible in the connection between two people, you know, so that that's where you sort of, you can, you know, see that, that, that shine. Um, and so anyway, just to, just because no one's ever asked that before, I, I just, I thought it was uh, just worth mentioning or, or touching on. I appreciate, Natasha, you are a deep sister. You are a deep <laughs> Russian doll, honey. You Some really question, are. Yeah, she really is. I appreciate really you is. for that. I appreciate you for that. Did you want to add anything to that, Charlie? Are you, you no. good? <laughs> How could I? How could I? What, what can I add to that? You know what I'm saying? This is this is the greatness that I get to stand under. You know, I, I'm, I'm I just appreciate it. But Listen, you know, you it's guys. not it's not just that. It's like it's us together. You know, like the strength Truth. of the the show is that, uh, like you know, Charlie and I will stay on the phone a lot and talk about. You know, if we we like the ideas, you know, that I'm proposing as uh, Alan's arc in season two and who he thinks should play his grandmother. And, you know, it's like we talk about all that to make sure that it feels like we're in it together, you know, because that's really like, uh, you know, the the love of the show. It's like so it really feels like something we're in. We're in together because that's the kind of heart of the show and what, what I feel like makes it work.